how y'all doing out there? What's happening? The video going to be about Chris, old Chris Cuomo. And he had Scott Adams on his show for the Dilbert thing. And um, <clears throat> I had to do some watching, further upon watching. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Lisa Cabrera because she made me aware of, of the appearance. But then I went on, because I had briefly watched Abram. I mean, Dan Abrams got a network. And so that's where Chris Cuomo went after he got demoted, after he got let go, seen and fired him. So you could say it's the double A league of networks. But anyway, I wanted to check it out more and I wanted to do a little bit more. But what did I find? Not only did he interview Scott Adams, which kind of raised my eyebrows, but he had the audacity to say he's not David Duke. And my reaction was, <laughs> <laughs> now nah, Scott Adams ain't David Duke because he ain't got no clan outfit openly. And he don't rock a three-piece suit, and he ain't had no facial surgery, so, you know, he's not. But just because you don't walk around with a lynch, uh, with a with a cross, which you want lynch and burning trees and burning folks, don't mean that you anything less. <clears throat> if you have to pull David Duke out your hiney to say that he's not that, that's not exactly a ring endorsement of encouragement. They're just saying that he's a lesser offensive racist. He's a racist piece of trash. Chris Cuomo is an overrated hype piece of trash. What happened to him and Don Lemonade? Oh, I love you, bro. I love you, man. Yeah, he was in there trying to run that, <clears throat> trying to run that game, you know, that Guido game to get his brother hooked up. When his brother Andrew, who was the former governor of New York, was chasing skirts around the office, and people were dying in these nursing homes, which got conveniently swept underneath the carpet. And he was known for chasing skirts himself, so it's not like you can exactly take him with credibility. Chris Cuomo, in actuality, is more closer to Gerardo Review, a man with many faces, many lies, and many places to say things. And this, <clears throat> when you tell a white man you're not David Duke, basically, but then what are you? Because if you got to throw bring that name out the hiney, that ain't exactly a lot of room that he thinks much of you. But it's it's enough where it's like, well, he's pretty disturbing. He's like, well, he's not really that kind of guy. And then what would you call him? You call African Americans a terrorist group. You tell white people to stay away from get out of Dodge from them. What would you call that? Now, David Duke would say lynch. And that's, you know, and that's it. But it's the same rhetoric. But anyway, Chris Cuomo tripping. But there's a reason why he's on a minor league network now where he could sit there with racist trash, some old beady eyed turkey who looks like a broke Bill Gates, you know, up there making up all, saying all kinds of racist rhetoric. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. <laughs> and somehow Chris Cuomo and Scott Adams deserve one another. Because if you got to say that well, he ain't David Duke, then what you trying to say, man? I'm out.